Mapper. Multi-scale applications on European e-infrastructures. Optimizing, connecting and crossing borders with cutting-edge technology. The Mapper project responds to a critical need in Europe for large and extreme-scale computing capabilities, which scientists and engineers can use to model, predict and control multi-scale systems with processes acting and interacting at different scales. The MAPA project is a project about distributed multi-scale computing. The idea is that multi-scale simulations have to run on distributed resources. For example, a, a quantum calculation could run on a small cluster. Typically, it doesn't need large numbers of cores, but the data, the output, the charge distributions then have to be transferred to some other machine, uh, which could be running a much, much bigger simulation on some other site somewhere else in Europe. MAPA started in 2010, consisting of a team of enthusiastic and ambitious scientists from different universities in the UK, Poland, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden and the Netherlands. While conducting their research, the MAPA team members used the existing e-infrastructures. Within the, the MAPA project, we study the flow of the Rhone River from the Lake Geneva to the dam, which is 13 kilometers uh, downstream. We have a collaboration with the electricity company who is managing these uh, resources. And the problem is the accumulation of sediment within the, the river and within the dam. So they have to flush this sediment away by changing the level of the water, uh, increasing the current. And this has to be done with less damage to the environment and, and population around. They need to study scenarios and, and for this uh, detailed numerical simulation uh, can be done to improve uh, on the current uh, knowledge. Our research in the area of nanomaterials is concerned with developing uh, new technologies, new materials that have applications in a wide variety of domains. One of the particular ones would be in, uh, let's say, automotive and aeroplane manufacture. So the challenge is to be able to design materials with the right properties, particularly strength, uh, from a perspective knowing the chemical ingredients, that ultimately means the atomic and molecular composition, but then relating those microscopic details of the system to the large-scale materials properties. And that's the kind of thing where MAPA becomes very important. We need to be able to develop reliable methods that connect these vastly separated scales in time and space. You study some kind of phenomena and to understand it to a necessary level of details, you split it on smaller kind of sub-models, as we call them, which are then being sent to different resources. With our tools, you can compose your application and run it from the single central point on distributed infrastructure. And also, you can share it with your colleagues who are working in the same area. We've been working on uh, particular middleware solutions, multi-scale modeling solutions and communication libraries mostly. For example, uh, when we're talking about middleware, we've been focusing on uh, Costco's grid middleware, which provides certain special capabilities such as advanced reservation and co-location. However, in wanting to implement these technical solutions, some difficulties were encountered. Being able to get the reservation of resources appropriately, that's clearly important to be able to do these simulations as efficiently as possible. That's one of our biggest challenges, uh, and it's not so much a technical one as a political one. We're now talking about infrastructures which MAPA purports to use or wants to use, European ones, that need then to recognise the importance of what we're doing and adjust their policies to enable us to do this work. Another aspect which MAPR is looking at is urgent computing. You can actually use these capabilities to not only to predict, but also to evaluate possible effects of natural disasters. For instance, if you have a flood and you have to react immediately, so you may want to uh, you know, require all the resources at once for this calculation. What we would like to have, especially for our use cases, when we are putting things together, when we are coupling models that, are, that have to be sometimes running simultaneously on different resources, we need to have allocations, we need to be able to access those resources at the same period of time. We believe that with Mapper, we will be able to reach a more optimal use of the resources. And I really would like to see also a Europe without borders when we talk about computing infrastructure. I think we have something new and, and unique uh, for science in Europe.
The research leading to these results has received funding from the European Union 7th Framework Programme.